Good morning, LHS. I'm not seeing more. And welcome to today's broadcast of the Morning Roar. And I'm Milani Pratt. Today is Tuesday, December 6, 2022. It's what our drink of the day. Remember to stay tuned until the end of the broadcast for the answer. Vitamin vocabulary time on the morning walk. Vitamin vocabulary is brought to my Mr. Pinsky's class. The verb perplexed means to feel completely baffled. The math problem I was doing perplexed me because I had not learned enough calculus yet. Attention students and staff, the Drivers Ed Club will be hosting a blood drive on Thursday, December 8th for anyone 16 or older from 745 to 1245 in the gym. If you are 16 and want to donate, you must have a parent permission consent form signed and bring it into your appointment. Please see Ms. Scott to get your consent form. All students must bring a school ID with them and please drink plenty of water and eat before your donation time. Those who are signed up will receive a reminder from your first period teacher on Thursday morning in your homeroom. Just a reminder, one donation helps save three lives. The Leo Club will meet on Tuesday, December 6th after school in room E102 to discuss our new holiday event. New members are always welcome. We will have a GSA meeting on Thursday, December 8th after school in room E100. New members are always welcome. All fall cheerleaders must turn in their uniforms by Friday. Fine cards will be issued on Monday. If you have a problem, questions, or concerns, ask Ms. Lee as soon as possible. Return uniforms to A110. Now let's send a Dominic Snyder for the weather. I'm Dom Snyder. Today's forecast day, we have rain with a high of 57 and low 54 wind coming from the southeast at 7 miles per hour. Now let's take a look at the five day forecast. On Wednesday, we have rain with the temperature at the high of 59 and the low of 48. On Thursday, we have mostly cloudy skies, the high of 55 and the low of 33. On Friday, we have showers with the high of 47 and the low of 33. On Saturday, we have partly cloudy skies, the high of 43 and the low of 30. On Sunday, we have mostly cloudy skies, the high of 45 and the low of 31. And now, please rise to the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm a litter. I don't care. I'm going to throw this trash right here. Stop right now. You're too plain. You need to recycle. Because littering is lame. I'm real clean. Not dirty. I'm going to show you, boy, how to get like me. Because you need to recycle. Oh, we. I'm going to teach you how to go green. Don't throw paper in the trash. Tell me what you think about that. We need to get our planet back. Recycling paper. Plastic. Glass. I'm Dom Snyder with the 401. It's time for another for real moment brought to you by Mr. Flick's video journalism class. For real? 
Do you know where the Vikings came from? If you guess Minnesota, you're thinking about the wrong Vikings. They came from the Scandinavian Peninsula, which is now occupied by both Sweden and Norway. One of the most common misconceptions about Vikings is that they had horns on their helmet, which there are no recorded discoveries of. Sweden today is a constitutional monarchy and a parliamentary democracy. Its capital is Stockholm, which has a population of 1 million and an overall population close to 10.2 million people. When you have a child in Sweden, you have to send a form to an agency in order to name them. If the name of your child isn't deemed acceptable, you have to give a different one. If you choose not to send a form, then you will be fined and possibly imprisoned. Carl 16th Gustav is the current king of Sweden, and the primary language spoken is almost entirely Swedish. Despite this, the vast majority of people also speak English. Sweden has a cold climate and is flat and mountainous as well. Sweden's currency is known as the krona. Sweden was also the first country in the world to enact freedom of press in 1766. I'm Louis Pecorio, and this has been your For Real Moment. I'm not seeing more. And I'm Melanie Proud. Have a great day, Linda Thank you for watching today's telecast of the Morning Roar. This show is produced by the students of LHS-TV. Watch this and other shows at LHSTV.com.